Hello, dear students. Now we have chapter 13 of our Autodesk Alia surface course. As you see, I have created this area, the side skirt, with a wireframe, I mean with curves, just trying to achieve the shape that I wanted, that I saw in the pics. As you see in the top view, you can't see how much the depth of this skirt is. So you should just guess it and try to find uh, the depth from the side uh, or back or front view. Uh, but you know, in the back and front there is no side skirt, so you should just try to... You know, there is a little... There's a little thing that shows the CV is outside and I can just try to match with that. Anyways, it's okay for now because uh, I've created something great. And I can also move these CVs to achieve <coughs> something exactly match to our blueprint I can move these CVs both of these CVs to get the shape I want But as you see, our real arc is not completely matched here, so I can't match the side skirt. So just try to guess the location of this skirt. Uh, and as you see, I've just used a square tool. You always should use a square or free from blend and align tool together. You know, B rail tool is not very common in nerves modeling. I mean class a class modeling and as you see they are all soft and there is no fillets if I move the curvature color scale as you see there is a little yellow area here it means it has some curvature the surface has a little curvature here so you can examine or analyze the curvature of the surfaces by that curvature analyze shading view so let me change something here and see what happens as you see when I move it outside the color changes because the curvature of the surface is changing and that area is completely destroyed so you should be careful about that you know I think there is a little very little problem I've just aligned to this surface, aligned this curve to that real arc. So if I move this, I mean increase the align tangency value, so I would have a better surface here. Let me just change it a little more. So now it's much better. It is much smoother, we have a little yellow area here, but that yellow area, you know, it's it's very, I mean, simple, there's no complex surface, and uh, if you change the curvature here, you can see the curvature numbers here in millimeters as you see in the bar 
at the right side the color bar now if you use the clay modeling shading you can just see the surface curvature with shadows as you see there is a dark shadow here it means there is a little problem here so you can fix it you know it's easy this is an easy section so you can do it I'm sure you can do it because the side skirt is much easier than the back bumper much much easier 10 times easier and you can f create it very fast and add fillets here as we're going to do okay you know the aligning aligning the curves is helping us to get the curvature we want so playing with line values or curve CVs are the most important things in achieving high quality surfaces as we played with the CVs here in this area or in this area we we can change the CVs or the or the fillet value oh there's a little problem here so I should just trim this I think I forgot to trim this one but I can trim this now there is a curve on surface here let me just check the trim gonna click yes to untrim it and trim it again okay now it's okay now it's a smooth it's a smooth enough and you know this is a good quality you know it's not the best because the best is the curvature is G2 curvature quality but this is at least G1 so it's okay the tangency is okay is good now let's take a look at the details of here okay what are the details the details are fillets exactly let me just change the view I have a fillet here which which is going inside in the middle so we have a big tilt here I'm gonna reduce the tilt the smaller tilt is much better here so these CVs are going to be here you know I've just created this side skirt very fast and after that I can't move the CVs to achieve what I want because the surfaces are having the construction history so they're gonna update when I'm changing when I'm moving the CVs or changing the curve align value and as you see I've created the rail here but the best way here was to use the freeform blend so we have some fillers here I have created this this um, and we didn't create here so we're gonna work on this now it is very small and it's very dangerous so we're gonna take care about that and try to 
find a way to create that. Draft tool is much better. Let me just move these CVs to get the shape. Okay, I'm gonna move it inside here. And move this series also inside. I'm just trying to find a shape. Okay, I haven't created that upper section. But I can do that. You now the construction history is gonna get deleted if I just delete that surface. Anyways, it's not important. I'm just gonna use the draft tool and using the angle. We have a tilt here. So I can use this tilt value to change the tilt for example this and add a number here okay let me just check Okay, I'm gonna create 10 here and 10 for another. But it's outside as you see. So I'm gonna change to the back view. And a little tilt outside. For here and five or below five for the last section. Let me just check the tree. Four was okay. And the last one is in sight. As you see, I am changing the values carefully. So just shading all and just check it. It's okay. We can also move all or increase. Let me just change this tilt a little bit. Okay. Let's just take a look. I'm just playing. You can also skip this section. If skip this section of the video, if you don't want to see I'm playing, but it's very necessary for you to know that playing with the surfaces is time consuming, but you're gonna have the best quality you can have at the end. Okay, now it's much better. And we we have this side skirt without fillets. It is our sharp model now. We can change everything here every time and try our final revises and after we are sure that 
this area is okay we can fill this and try to add fillets so how can i fill here i can add a plane here and add intersection or let me just create this surface first Let me just check it. You can't see that surface. Uh, anyways, it's just a random inside lens. So, how can I create this? Uh, we have a we have four lines, so I can use planner if they are in one plane. Okay, they are in one plane and we, we can use the planner tool, as you see, they are in one plane. So, it's done now. But if it didn't done, so I can use the square tool because it has four lines, so I would choose all of the four lines and hit enter okay how can i add the fillers here you know the round tool is much faster you know the clarity is not so uh, curvature here but it's very fast just add two here here add the number 2.5 here let me choose here 1.5 okay these are really small fillets you know you can add much bigger fillets because I think they are much bigger but I'm just trying with the small values to see how small can they be okay I am also clicking on them because I want a, I want a full fillet so we can have a circle connection here you know you can see the hexagon connection hexagon circle connection you can have a curved connection here revert and build it again you can trim them if you want for example you can change it to square this is a square the four line connection but i think this one is much better because it's much smoother and as we see in the side edge it's much better and you can also try to develop this area you can just trim this area and have a better surface here just try to ungroup the fillets and add your own fillets.